And these mobile GPU numbers are coming out and they're something. You want to charge your electric vehicle? There's a plan for that now. And AMD finally updated their drivers. I don't know if you should. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. Don't forget that tomorrow we are drawing the winner for that beautiful Alienware giveaway PC right there, provided by Asatech. Ryzen 7 5800X, RX 6800 XT, a solid, solid PC from Asatech. Big thanks to them for sponsoring that giveaway. You can come watch us over on Twitch in order to enter it. It's an easy way of doing it. And looks like it's an easy switch over to the 7600S, which is AMD's next generation laptop mobile GPU. And it is finally getting reviewed by Notebook Check, who was able to get their hands on an Asus Tough A16 that happens to have this GPU in there. And it's okay. It's slightly better than the 6700S, which was a higher tier GPU from last generation. And it's like going toe to toe with the RTX 3060 laptop. It's not quite gonna be able to compete with Nvidia's next gen. You can see the 7600S was managing to get 85.5 FPS in GTA 5, while the 3060 does 103 in Dota 2. 3060 was way better, but then in games like Strange Brigade and The Witcher 3, the AMD card happened to win out there. The difficulty and the trickiness of this GPU is the fact that it's gonna cost a little bit more than buying an RTX 3060 laptop, which typically, at least according to this review, comes in at around a thousand pounds, whereas the 7600S is around 1200 pounds. So you're paying more to get that AMD advantage of performing worse in some video games and better in others and not having all of the RTX features that you could expect from 3060. It does seem like it can at least be at that level. What do you think of this? Does this make you want to switch over to AMD for the mobile side of things? I want to hear from you down below in the comments. And I want you to hear about today's video sponsor. But friends, today's video is sponsored by the company that brings you literally every single hot news, and that is Helix Sleep. Because if you want me to deliver the hottest tech news to you out on the internet, I better be fresh and ready. And I do that on my Helix Sleep mattress. My friends, Helix Sleep should be in consideration for your next mattress because they're premium mattresses, okay? And they're customized to fit your needs and they're conveniently shipped to your door. I've told this story many times because they've been a long-standing partner of ours. It was the first thing I unboxed in this brand new house that we moved to here in Pennsylvania. And I've been getting a fresh night of sleep ever since. And I was confident when we were unboxing it that this was going to be the perfect mattress for my wife and I because we took Helix Sleep's sleep quiz, which matched the mattress to us. I like to sleep on my side. My wife likes to sleep on her stomach. And based on our sleep preferences, as well as the firmness of the mattress that we both desired, we came up with the dust a Lux mattress, which has been a perfect fit for us. And you'll be able to actually get a perfect fit for you as well. One of my favorite things about the Helix Sleep mattress is that even after almost two years of us having it, it has not degraded in quality whatsoever. I still love every single night of sleep that I get on it. And I think you will too. Once it's delivered directly to your door with free shipping in the United States, it comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up. You don't even really have to worry about it. And you don't have to worry about whether or not you're like it because number one, you take that sleep quiz, you get a match to you, but in case you don't, they have a hundred night sleep trial. So you can test out the mattress, make sure you love it, make sure that you're good to go, and then feel safe at night knowing that you're being cozied up to by the perfect Helix sleep mattress. They also have a 10 year warranty, which is gonna give you that confidence across the long term. They've got financing options, they've also got flexible payment plans, so you have every reason of taking a look at this and trying to pick one up for yourself. And you can use our link in the video description, helixsleep.com forward slash UFD tech, which will give you 20% off your Helix mattress, plus two free pillows. I've used those dream pillows in my bed, in the car, across the country, and in Los Angeles, in New York. I've used them essentially everywhere. The dream pillows are actually a really great deal to get added onto this. But again, go to helixsleep.com forward slash UFD tech to get 20% off your Helix Sleep mattress. Get those two free pillows. Start getting a good night's rest. Be like me, the hot news guy who's well rested every single day. Big thanks again to Helix Sleep for sponsoring today's video. But while you might be sleeping comfy on a Helix Sleep mattress, you probably shouldn't be sleeping comfy if you have to have an Asus ROG Z690 Formula motherboard because of some miscommunication and misdirection by either Asus or EK Waterblocks when it comes to what specific water block they used on the VRM cooling on this motherboard. So this is a little complicated, but we're finally getting some responses out from EK, but not Asus with regards to this matter. But the basic level that you should know is that mixing metals when it comes 
resistance to water cooling is bad. And this motherboard was sold as having nickel plated coolers, which typically means nickel plated copper. So people use copper water blocks. However, it is now coming out as these motherboards are corroding that they likely use nickel plated aluminum, which would be fine if it was disclosed. However, it wasn't. And it gets even worse because EK sold an accessory, a bridge for this motherboard, and they made that out of nickel plated copper and not nickel plated aluminum. So the official supported accessory made by the exact same company caused corrosion because it had mixed metals in it. EK coming out with a statement saying that this is happening, no explanation as to how they probably had some sort of oversight that they provided a different situation when it comes to the VRM cooling on this motherboard. But this is a very expensive motherboard for something that is gonna be a high end purchase for a lot of people, especially with custom liquid cooling. And you can see pictures that were uploaded up to the TPU forum where this motherboard was only used for 10 days. And you can see the corrosion that was happening because of the bad communication by Asus and EK on this motherboard. So in case you have that, maybe watch out for it or let's just make sure to hold companies accountable when they do make oopsies and they get these motherboards and water blocks replaced because they honestly should replace the rest of the loop. They should replace the things that got corrosion in them and not just the parts that they potentially made wrong. And it was wrong for Reese to leave me and it was wrong for him to not bring UFD deals yesterday. Hopefully he's a better man today. Hey friends, welcome back to UFD deals. We're bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet. Today we're jumping straight in with the Logitech G Pro mechanical keyboard. The cheapest way to pick this up is to grab the official League of Legends edition for $59.99, which is 54% off. If you don't mind the branding everywhere, you get a solid keyboard for the price and you can actually pick up a matching peripheral set for similar discounts. And then secondly, we have this MSI Mac Radeon RX 6750 XT. You can currently pick this up for $371.99 with the promo code and the $20 rebate. I think the MSI Mac range looks great. It fits in almost any build. And at this discount, it's the lowest price in 30 days. And then lastly, we have the ASUS ROG Strix SCAR 15 gaming laptop. With its 15.6 inch, 240Hz, 1440p IPS display, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti, an Intel Core i9-12900H, 32 gigs of DDR5 and a one terabyte SSD. You can currently pick this up for $179,999, which is $700 off. And that's it. Those are the deals for today. You can find the links to these and more in the video description down below. And until next time, I'm gonna hand you off back to Brad for the rest of your hot news. Cheers. And I wanna bring up another UFD deal that maybe Reese didn't get to, and that is Green Man Gaming currently has Returnal for PC, but they have it at a 10% discount to make it a little bit off. It launched on PC yesterday. The reviews that I'm seeing is that if you have a decent PC, it's gonna be able to perform well. If you have a slightly lower end PC, there's gonna be a little bit of stuttering, but this is by far one of my favorite games to come out for the PlayStation 5. I'm excited to see that it's here on PC. But just like Sony is doing some cross-platform support for their games, it looks like Tesla is going to be part of the cross-platform support when it comes to charging electric vehicles. This is being part of the Biden administration rolling out a plan to get more robust EV charging across the United States, including a $7.5 billion plan to install half a million EV chargers on the roads by 2030. And part of Tesla getting some of this money is the fact that they're actually going to be opening up their chargers to non-EV vehicles, despite the fact that this legislation is supposed to require CCS chargers, which Tesla does not use because they're opening it up and making it so that you can have a user friendly experience on the app by the end of 2024. They're going to get a cut of that infrastructure bill to help make sure that EV charging is a little bit more robust across the United States. And a lot of people were calling for AMD to make their driver support more robust when it came to their RX 6000 series GPUs. It was reported a while ago that AMD had for over several months not released a brand new driver for the RX 6000 thousand series and was focusing only on their brand new 7900 XT and 7900 XTX. And that has finally changed because they have finally dropped driver updates for their previous graphics cards and releasing that there are some performance improvements for their older gen cards when it comes to specific games. Notably a 4% increase on the 6950 XT for Spider-Man Remastered, Hogwarts Legacy got a 4% increase as well as a few other games and the 7900 series GPU is getting some acceleration when it comes to H.264 and H.265 streaming optimization optimizations, making it a better setup overall. However, there's a lot of reports coming out that it might not be in a driver update that you should install because it's causing issues across several different systems, causing PC boot issues, corrupting Windows altogether, inaccessible boot drives, making it so that people actually, after they installed this new driver update, they actually weren't able to access their PC anymore and had to start refreshing from the very beginning. And it looks like this is applying across multiple different generations of cards from the RX 580 to the 6800X 
TXT. It looks like it's tied to a factory setting option that's with the chipset driver and potentially causing some havoc there. Even Ioneo coming out and saying that a driver update for the 6800U that's on their Ioneo 2 console should actually make sure you do not select the factory reset option when you're updating to this new driver because it's causing issues and you need a BIOS update to fix it. And it appears that AMD took a very long time to get these new drivers out to people, but they didn't let them bake enough because it looks like they might get rid of everything that you had on your system. Let me know, have you installed the latest AMD driver if you are on one of the older cards? Has this affected you? Are you seeing any sort of abnormalities when it comes to these drivers? Let's get some data collection going on down below in the comments and I will be here tomorrow for the last episode of Hot News this week and we'll have the giveaway for this PC tomorrow as well over on Twitch. Would love to see you there.